and welcome, I'm Exterminator, and thank you for joining me again. And we are continuing off with our Factorio PvP series with myself against Fish Sandwich. And, yeah, last time I was starting to set up a new smelting uh, facility. And, man, the last three episodes were packed full of action, I tell ya. He was, man, he, he was really out to get me last time. But, uh, but yeah, so, we're back. This is gonna be episode, uh, 10, if I think. Yeah, episode 10. And I think we are ready, so I'm just going to ready up and wait for him to do the same. Alrighty, so we can go ahead and start. And I need to do this fast, because I actually am getting a feeling he's kind of ahead of me right now. And this actually seems less laggy than last time, which is really quite interesting. I don't know that he's ahead of me tech-wise, but I think he is certainly ahead of me um, production-wise. Like with his ability to produce um, science packs and smelt stuff and all that, so... I am thinking though, I need, I'm going to go make an attack on him really soon. Maybe if I do it like right near the start of the episode, he won't. <laughs> he won't suspect it. I only got in like one attack over the last three episodes because he was so relentless coming at me. I had to spend my time recovering. And every time I would go over there, he would have his eyes like glued to the map and he would spot me like immediately. So good thing I added more... Uh, of this stuff, uh, not this stuff, more power capacity. That's what I'm trying to say. Come on, game. Oh, uh, yeah, that lag's a little noticeable, but not, <clears throat> not too bad. So, yeah, you've seen this setup probably in my other, um, series. Um, this is actually a setup a Roomba did it quite a long time ago, but I really like it, so that's what we're going to use. Oh, jeez, is he coming after me? No. Okay, so this goes this way. And this one goes this way. And then this is going to merge here and our coal is gonna somehow get over here um, this should be interesting I guess we'll run it along this wall or maybe just move these turrets hmm. <laughs> actually undergrounding it would probably the, be the best option I really didn't want all those inserters. Oh, right. Derp. I had a box full of belts. <laughs> okay, so, yeah. Let's take this and run it, like, here. Why? No, I shouldn't need this room for anything else. Okay, I'm actually out of belts, so, yeah. Thank you. need to get this going, upgrade my copper really quick, probably not to this extent, and, uh, yeah, and then I just need to, can't this go, like, yeah, and then I just, um, then I need to get oil going, he doesn't have it going himself, but he, uh, he's pretty close, I think. And I definitely don't want to fall behind on that front. Um, that would be quite unfortunate. So this is not going to be enough miners, I don't think. I'm going to go ahead and add one more. We have room. And that, I think that's just my dudes expiring. Um, so I'm going to add another one here. 
That's going to make six, which is enough for 12 furnaces. I think we have more than that. Um, but, and actually, while I'm at it, let's make some repair packs. I'm missing iron again. Let's make some more, and... Um, I know it's kind of tedious repairing this, especially with this damn lag, but, uh... I don't want to let it slip my mind, otherwise there could be some very sneaky business going on. Oh jeez, we're... okay. So he's going to do oil. Um, I better go do the same. I had a whole bunch of pipe I put somewhere. Or maybe I died. <laughs> maybe I died with it on me, I'm not sure. So I can make fast belt if I had any iron. Make this fast belt, that should alleviate that problem. That's definitely more furnaces than we had, I think. Our copper's okay for now, and okay, so I had 32 underground whatchamit things. Um, steel, right, steel is definitely something I want more of, because I need to make quite a few of those and I mean I have how many smelters two four six I have 14 which isn't a bad amount and actually I wonder if we should add another um, another thing ooh I changed my mind I'm gonna go attack him <laughs> if he's messing with the oil way over there I can interrupt him. Or even better, catch him off guard. So, let me put all my important stuff in here. Because I don't want to lose it. And just in case, I'm going to take some of this normal ammo. Okay, so he decided to come back. I think he was just scouting. Let me see what he's doing. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> um, it does look like we probably need more. What? Huh? Come on, bud. Probably need more smelters, so... I mean, he's gonna have to go up to that oil at some point, which looks like really soon. Okay, so yeah, he's going over there. I'm going to go give him a little trouble. I don't know what he's doing up there. He's just like standing there. For no apparent reason. Oh, he's going to have a lot of problems. No way in hell can he make it back here on time. I think those, are those my worms? Doubtful. Oh, ouch, ouch. I don't think he saw me. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god, I suck. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my god, I lost my shotgun and stuff too. I can't... How was I that stupid? Well, at least I saw what he was doing. Oh, I was so... That was so stupid on my part. Good thing I dumped most of my stuff. And that was a perfect opportunity. I should have thrown stuff down. Wow. Oh well, I put most of my stuff away. If you guys want to yell at me, feel free, because that was an idiotic move. <laughs> that was a completely idiotic move on my part. Like, that was just so dumb. Okay, so... Let's fill these guys up. It looks like we're going to need more miners, actually. So, that was really stupid on my part. I can't believe how dumb I was. I lost quite a bit of stuff. Um, nothing, like, major. He probably wouldn't expect me to go attack him right now, actually. Okay, so we need copper. Um, I feel like I should go attack him again because he wouldn't expect it, but if he's setting up oil, I need to set up oil. So let's take our power poles. <clears throat> At least we didn't lose those because those were expensive. And some inserters, um, some of those. And yeah, so let me, uh, let's see, what else do we, we need to make more power poles for sure, I think. Probably should, should collect some iron, um, to make some more pipe if I need to. 32 might be enough. So yeah, he's got those, I don't know if he has those tapped or not. But, uh. I need to go, I think mine are about the same distance. Did he tap those? Two of them at least. He has like five all grouped together, which is going to give him quite a bit of an advantage because my other two are like way over there. But I need to make sure he's not going to come attack me. That was a perfect opportunity. He was so far away. I'm still beating myself up. That was really dumb. So yeah, I'm going to need to run... Should have run the power here on my way up, if I was smart at all. Now let's connect this. Yeah, I guess this works. Because I need to figure out where I want to set this up. Probably kind of in the back somewhere over here. 
and we can always just pipe it over to make circuits and junk. I don't even know if I'm going the right direction. I'm thinking of doing oil like here or here. Yeah, I don't think 15 is going to be enough. <laughs> Um, actually, yeah, let's see. Where do we want oil? Over here, maybe, or back here? Probably back here would be the best idea. So, um, let me run power up. Three's going to be maybe enough. Okay, so those dudes are working. Perfect. And this didn't get oil. Why? If he runs back up there, um, if, it, if he hasn't hooked it up or something, I'll probably go attack again. And this time, I know where his that turret is and where his whatchamit thing is, so I'll just throw a whole ton of biters um, down there. He may have already hooked it up, I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, I need to run it. Um, we're gonna need some more of these. Can't make many more, unfortunately. And actually, let's run it. Um, take this tree, please. I think he's pretty busy over there, though, working on his stuff. <coughs> so, yeah, I'm going to need more of these, but... The problem is my oil wells suck, like, a lot. Or actually not really, because that wouldn't make sense. <laughs> they, uh, they aren't very good. Okay, so we have full iron. Um, one thing it looks like we need to do is make at least one more blue science thing. Or, sorry, not blue science. We'll get to that soon. Um, red science. And we're going to need more copper. I could just make these assembling machine twos, actually. That would probably fix the issue. What? Oh. But, for now, it's cheaper to just do this. And, this guy is making plenty of that, so let's, um, whoops. Let's get him going. Do I need a fast inserter here? Not really, no. And if I was smart, I'd make a gun. <laughs> Damn it, I don't want coal, game. So, let's see, did he run pipe? Yeah. So I'm going to need stone brick um, to make our, our um, whatever I'm trying to say, our thing. And I only have three, so I do have some stone. So I'm going to go ahead and throw two furnaces down and take the stone that we have and smelt it, maybe. I can <laughs> hit the right buttons. And I think this is actually going to be the end of the first episode, so um, we're not t uh, specifically titling these. If we were, I would call this, like, epic fail, because that was a completely idiotic move. I could have done a lot of damage, um, but instead I was stu stupid and decided to run straight into his turret, which I didn't see until it was too late. <laughs> but...
he did the same thing actually um, last session. So yeah, um, can I make? See, I need stone brick still. Um, so I'm gonna make some pipe, and next episode we'll set up oil and maybe go for another attack or something. So yeah, I think that's it. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed me failing horribly. <laughs> if so, you know, like and subscribe and all that. And until next time, I look forward to seeing you all, and take care.